Hey guys, King Gath here, and in this video, we're going to go over how to get started with Sim Settlements 2. So let's start off with the TLDR for the folks who don't have a lot of patience for me rambling away. If you've installed the mod, head to one of your settlements and build yourself a radio recruitment beacon, and shortly thereafter, a stranger should appear and start talking to you. He's going to be your guide through our quests, and he will get you introduced to our mechanics and trigger all sorts of unlocks. There you go, you can get at it. All right, for the rest of you who are interested in a little more detailed information, let's talk about how Sim Settlements 2 is set up. So Sim Settlements 2 is broken into three chapters, and then we have an additional file called SS2 Extended, which is additional content for PC players only due to the extreme limits on mod space for Xbox players. So anything we couldn't fit that wasn't required for the mod to continue would go into SS2 Extended. This includes additional dialogue, some extra quests, things like more building plans, uh, extra dogs for the pet store, all sorts of interesting things, and it will continue to get more interesting things over time. So you can start with just SS2 if you like. Almost all of the mechanics are maintained exclusively in SS2 and all of the code. So even without chapters two and three, you will still have access to most of the mechanics, including the war mechanics we added in chapter three. You will just need to use our hollow tape, which you will be handed during mod gameplay, to unlock some of that stuff if you're not playing through all of our story content. What I would highly recommend though, is if you're on PC and you've come the room, just go grab the all chapters pack, which is available on the chapter three page for Nexus. This is linked below as, as well as a lot of other links in the description that we'll be talking about throughout the rest of this video. Alternatively, you can just go to the chapter one page and download that. And then once you're happy with what you're doing and you're ready for more story content, you could install chapters two and three later and that would work out fine as well as things like the war mechanics aren't introduced until story modes. Uh, chapter two is required for the HQ mechanics you may have heard about, but otherwise all mechanics are kept in, in the chapter one files alone. Now, if you're not playing on Nexus, if you're playing through downloading your mods in-game, whether PC or Xbox, the easiest way you can install the mod is to click on the links below. I will have them flagged as Bethesda, Xbox, or Nexus. So click on the appropriate ones for you, and then log into your Bethesda.net account and favorite those. Then when you go in-game to the mods screen, there will be a favorite section where all of those will appear so you can quickly install them. Now, while you're at it, you'll also want to favorite HUD framework and workshop framework. And those of you playing on Nexus, note that those two framework mods are not included with the all chapters pack. You will need to install those as well. Links in the description for those two framework mods. Once you have all of those files, you are ready to go. And then if we were to circle back to the beginning of the video, that's when you build your recruitment beacon and the stranger will appear and he will take you through our entire story. Now, there are a few breaks throughout our story where we will give you a day or two in game time to play with what you've learned or just not give you anything so that you can actually experience part of the rest of the game as the entire story of SS2 is designed to weave in and out of the vanilla game so that you can do as much or as little of the base game story content as you want and our stuff will react to it accordingly. So our characters know about what you're doing, the, they will respond to it, and there's we, we don't shoehorn you into anything in particular either so you don't have to rescue Sean you don't have to defeat the Brotherhood whatever you decide to do is fine uh, but uh, we want to make sure that we give you time to do that and that's why there's those pauses but anytime we pause in our storyline it will eventually pick up either with a new objective coming up or a radio call from one of our characters so that you know it's time to get back to the SS2 story or like anything else in a Bethesda game you can just leave it and continue to play whatever you want and do ours uh, at your leisure now, if you get to a point where you're introduced to a new mechanic and you don't have enough information from the characters and you'd like additional insight, there are two resources I can offer you right now. One is I have done a series of Let's Plays of the mod on various difficulty levels. You can check out those playlists linked below. You can also head to our forums, simsettlements.com, and click on the forums link. We have a huge active community, very friendly, and tons of data from years and years of collecting uh, uh posts on our forums so you can learn about the mod, you can get help with the mod, and uh, make sure that you're moving forward. In addition to that, over the coming year, I do intend on creating a series of small tutorial videos like this one to help teach various mechanics, so keep an eye out for those. Once those are available, we'll have it linked at the end of the video to go to that playlist.
All right, the last thing I will talk about before we break is Sim Settlements 1 players. If you are coming from Sim Settlements 1, uh, two things to note. One is you cannot use it with Sim Settlements 2. So if you want to switch to Sim Settlements 2 and give it a try, you will want to do that with a new character. And the second is for Sim Settlements 1 players, the biggest adjustment most folks have with Sim Settlements 2 is that things cost resources. And if you want to have an experience closer to Sim Settlements 1 when you are handed, the City Manager Holotape in Sim Settlements 2, you'll be asked if you've played before, and then you'll be asked to choose the experience you want. And the experience that most closely represents Sim Settlements 1 is the automated building. So just an FYI, if you're looking to get an experience very close to the Sim Settlements 1 to ease your transition into SS2. All right, guys, hopefully that helps some of you get started with SS2. And as always, take care and enjoy the mods.